crossing your voice with a drum loop. Controlling the rate of a disc track with the frequency of your voice. Imagine selectively modifying just the third harmonic of your voice in real time. Imagine designing and performing your own additive, subtractive, analog, sampling, wavetable, granular, and or distortion synthesizer. Imagine morphing from a woman to a man and back again using a MIDI fader. Or breaking up a recording into hundreds of tiny grains of sound. Imagine having a completely open-ended, real-time sound design playground on the screen of your Macintosh or Windows computer. Kima is a graphical, modular sound design language that runs on Macintosh and Windows computers. In Kima, you design sounds graphically by connecting icons on the computer screen, and you generate or process sound in real time on a multiple DSP hardware accelerator called the Capybara. With Kima, you can extend the art of sound design beyond sampling, editing, and mixing. You can actually tease apart a sound into its individual components, warp it, change it, and resynthesize it all under the real-time control of MIDI faders or control signals. For example, this is not my voice. This is 128 sine wave oscillators whose frequency and amplitude envelopes are being controlled by my voice in real time. By moving a MIDI fader, I can scale the frequencies of the odd-numbered harmonics while leaving the even-numbered harmonics where they were. I can drop some of the harmonics and resynthesize only the ones that fall within a given frequency range. I can use a random number generator to decide how likely it is for an oscillator to be turned on or off at any given time, or perform any number of other modifications to the spectrum. With Kima's vocoder module, you can impose the spectral envelope of one sound onto another in real time. This is a mix of white noise and a buzz oscillator fed through a bank of 72 filters whose amplitudes are controlled by my voice. Here's what happens when I change the frequency of the input oscillator. This is what it sounds like with noise only. If I gradually decrease the bandwidth of the filters, you can start to hear them ringing at their center frequencies, and eventually turning into pure pitches. This is the vocoder that with a dolphin sample fed through the filter bank. This is the spectral envelope of a man's voice imposed on the sound of a fizzy drink. Hollywood sound designer Francois Blagnon crossed a sample of a rock slide with a recording of a snoring man to create a snoring statue sound for the Muppets Dr. Seuss television show on Nickelodeon. This example crosses the amplitudes from my voice with the inharmonic frequencies of a band. This example crosses the amplitudes from my voice. By crossfading between two spectra, you get an effect we call morphing. Morphing. Morphing.
You can create the illusion of one thing becoming another. A didgeridoo turning into a mouth harp. A Harley turning into a lion. A drum loop becoming a tubular bell. In this radio spot created by Pete Johnston and Lloyd Billing at the Tape Gallery in London, a British football hero loves potato chips so much that he tries to steal them from a little kid by disguising himself as a child's mother. But he eventually loses patience and morphs back to himself towards the end. Oh, sweet Duncan, dear child of mine, please let your mommy try one of your Walker's crisps. No. Oh, come on now, light of my life, let your mother have a Walker's crisp. No. I've heard they're so tasty and crunchy, with not a blemish to mar their golden perfection. Surely you wouldn't deny your own mother one wee crisp now. No. I'm asking nicely, Duncan, please give your mother a crisp for crying out loud. No, I Hand them over, you selfish little brat. I'm your mother, do you no, hear? Nathan. Give them to me now. Scotland, remember, with Walker's crisps, there's no more Mr. Nice Guy. You can also use more abstract controls on the amplitude and frequency envelopes of Kima's additive synthesis modules. This is an example demonstrating Roger Shepard's circular pitch illusion, the classic endlessly rising or falling glissando. Designed by Yasushi Yoshida, it combines additive synthesis, filtering, compression, panning, and delays. And this example combines wave shaping and wavetable synthesis. In this example, Kima sends a MIDI note event each time an audio track on the disc exceeds a threshold amplitude. In this case, the external sound module is a Proteus made by Emu. Kima can also do classic analog style synthesis and includes a module for doing analog style sequencing as well. This is three detuned sawtooth oscillators fed through a low pass filter whose cutoff is controlled by an ADSR envelope. <laughs> Here's another analog-like example using wave-shaping distortion, 
four parallel sequencers controlling samples of drum hits and high pass filtered and distorted live input. its frequency resolution of 0.0026 Hz make it ideal for experimenting with scales and tunings outside the standard 12-tone equal temperament. Here's an excerpt from Marcus Hobbs' new album which uses Kima for synthesis, processing of other synthesizers, and to compute the frequencies for alternative tunings. Also use Kima to synthesize or process sound effects. In granular synthesis, you can create dense clouds of sound by adding together hundreds of extremely short duration enveloped sine waves. Here, a random number generator sets each of the grain cloud parameters. In this example, the center frequency for the grains is controlled from the MIDI keyboard, and the random deviation in frequency is controlled by a MIDI fader. Here's what happens if I record my voice into the sample RAM of the capybara, and then start granulating that sample memory as I continue recording into it. You can also do more standard sound manipulation in Kima, including things like sampling, splicing, and mixing. Here, for example, I'm triggering some animal recordings directly off the disc using a MIDI keyboard as a trigger.
Although this demo gives you a little taste of what kinds of sounds you can create using Kima, the real power of Kima is not in the presets or the sounds we provide. It's in the complete flexibility and modularity of the tools that Kima provides to assist you in creating your own sounds and music. Everything you heard on this demo was done in Kima without the use of any external mixers, multi-track recorders, editing systems, effects units, samplers, or synthesizers. For more information, call 1-217-355-6273 or visit our website at www.symbolicsound.com.